Disney's action game with Hercules, short video game review. Hercules exists, he's Hades' adversary, and he goes through hero training and then does heroic stuff. The game has a lot of trouble telling the story in any kind of any kind of way that allows you to actually follow it. And then if you haven't watched the movie or already know the basic story of Hercules, you're not going to have a clue what's going on in the story of this game. It's a rather short game with basically two, two and a half hours of play. They try to make you stay longer by making it infuriatingly challenging, really unfairly so, because a lot of what it throws at you, it throws at you so late that you basically have very little chance of reacting in time and you know, getting out of the way. And some very unintuitive, you know, boss fights and the like. The, as well as having a password system that is the only way for you to, it's, it's very difficult to complete the game in a single sitting. So you pretty much have to use the passwords to continue from where you got to, and doing this will require you to find all four vases in any given level for you to com you know, continue from that one. So, yeah, not very likely. Or the next one. Anyway, it does use a bunch of imagery and music from the film, as well as, unfortunately, bringing back in the training character, Danny DeVito's character, I don't remember his name, to do just a few lines that they then repeat ad nauseum during the training sequences. The game does allow you to fight such monsters as the Hydra and Medusa, but the general action especially fighting, tends to be hampered by how little you have in the way of ranged attack. Your enemies almost possess, almost always possessing greater range than you, and the fact that they almost always recover quicker than you. You are incapacitated for roughly two seconds every single time you get hit, and this can actually sometimes lead to you dying from a single mistake in the level. In addition to regular platformer action jumping game levels, there are a couple of levels where you run towards the screen and having to dodge things as well as pick up items. There is one where you get to fly Pegasus and then there are a few where you move around in 3D in a big circle as you fight boss enemies. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.